Fermi liquid theory, also known as Landau Fermi liquid theory, is a theoretical model of interacting fermions that describes the normal state of most metals at sufficiently low temperatures. The interaction between the particles of the many-body system does not need to be small. The phenomenological theory of Fermi liquids was introduced by the Soviet physicist Lev Davidovich Landau in 1956, and later developed by Alexei Abrikasov and Isaac Kalatnikov using diagrammatic perturbation theory. The theory explains why some of the properties of an interacting fermion system are very similar to those of the ideal Fermi gas i.e. non-interacting fermions, and why other properties differ. Important examples of where Fermi liquid theory has been successfully applied are most notably electrons in most metals and liquid He3. Liquid He3 is a Fermi liquid at low temperatures but not low enough to be in its superfluid phase. Helium-3 is an isotope of helium, with two protons, one neutron and two electrons per atom. Because there is an odd number of fermions inside the nucleus, the atom itself is also a fermion. The electrons in a normal non metal also form a Fermi liquid, as do the nucleons protons and neutrons in an atomic nucleus. Strontium ruthenate displays some key properties of Fermi liquids, despite being a strongly correlated material, and is compared with high-temperature superconductors like cuprates. Topic description The key ideas behind Landau's theory are the notion of adiabaticity and the Pauli exclusion principle. Consider a non-interacting fermion system a Fermi gas, and suppose we turn on the interaction slowly. Landau argued that in this situation, the ground state of the Fermi gas would adiabatically transform into the ground state of the interacting system. By Pauli's exclusion principle, the ground state psi zero display style psi underscore zero of a Fermi gas consists of fermions occupying all momentum states corresponding to momentum PPF display style p with all higher momentum states unoccupied. As interaction is turned on, the spin, charge and momentum of the fermions corresponding to the occupied states remain unchanged, while their dynamical properties, such as their mass, magnetic moment etc. are renormalized to new values. Thus, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elementary excitations of a Fermi gas system and a Fermi liquid system. In the context of Fermi liquids, these excitations are called quasi particles. Landau quasi particles are long lived excitations with a lifetime tau that satisfies tau ep frac hbar tau ul epsilon underscore room p, where ep epsilon underscore room p is the quasi particle energy measured from the Fermi energy. At finite temperature, Ep display style epsilon underscore room p is on the order of the thermal energy K b t display style K underscore room b t and the condition for Landau quasi particles can be reformulated as tau K B T display style frac H B A R tau L K underscore room B T. For this system, the Green's function can be written near its poles in the form G omega P approximately equals Z omega plus mu minus ep display style g omega p approx frac z omega plus mu epsilon p where mu display style mu 
is the chemical potential and EP display style epsilon P is the energy corresponding to the given momentum state the value Z display style Z is called the quasiparticle residue and is very characteristic of Fermi liquid theory the spectral function for the system can be directly observed via angle resolved photoemission spectroscopy ARPES and can be written in the limit of low lying excitations in the form a k omega equals z delta omega minus v F K display style a math b f k omega equals z delta omega v underscore room f k underscore where v f display style v underscore room f is the Fermi velocity. Physically, we can say that a propagating fermion interacts with its surrounding in such a way that the net effect of the interactions is to make the fermion behave as a dressed fermion, altering its effective mass and other dynamical properties. These dressed fermions are what we think of as quasiparticles. Another important property of Fermi liquids is related to the scattering cross-section for electrons. Suppose we have an electron with energy E1 above the Fermi surface, and suppose it scatters with a particle in the Fermi C with energy E2 Display style epsilon underscore two. By Pauli's exclusion principle, both the particles after scattering have to lie above the Fermi surface with energies e three e four greater than e f. Display style epsilon underscore three epsilon underscore four greater than epsilon underscore room f. Now, suppose the initial electron has energy very close to the Fermi surface E approximately equals E F Display style epsilon approx epsilon underscore room F Then we have that E two E three E four Display style epsilon underscore two epsilon underscore three epsilon underscore four also have to be very close to the Fermi surface. This reduces the phase space volume of the possible states after scattering, and hence, by Fermi's golden rule, the scattering cross section goes to zero. Thus, we can say that the lifetime of particles at the Fermi surface goes to infinity. Topic: Similarities to Fermi gas. The Fermi liquid is qualitatively analogous to the non-interacting Fermi gas in the following sense: the system's dynamics and thermodynamics at low excitation energies and temperatures may be described by substituting the non-interacting fermions with interacting quasiparticles, each of which carries the same spin charge and momentum as the original particles. Physically these may be thought of as being particles whose motion is disturbed by the surrounding particles and which themselves perturb the particles in their vicinity. Each many-particle excited state of the interacting system may be described by listing all occupied momentum states, just as in the non-interacting system. As a consequence, quantities such as the heat capacity of the Fermi liquid behave qualitatively in the same way as in the Fermi gas e.g. the heat capacity rises linearly with temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Differences from Fermi gas The following differences to the non-interacting Fermi gas arise. Topic: <inaudible> Energy. The energy of a many-particle state is not simply a sum of the single particle energies of all occupied states. Instead, the change in energy for a given change delta n K display style delta n underscore K in occupation of states K display style K contains terms both linear and quadratic in delta n K display style delta n underscore K for the Fermi gas, it would only be linear. Delta n k e k display style delta n underscore k epsilon underscore k, where e k display style epsilon underscore k denotes the single particle energies. The linear contribution corresponds to renormalized single particle energies, which involve, e.g., a change in the effective mass of particles. The quadratic terms correspond to a sort of mean field interaction between quasiparticles, which is parametrized by so called Landau Fermi liquid parameters and determines the behavior of density oscillations and spin density oscillations in the Fermi liquid. Still, these mean field interactions do not lead to a scattering of quasi-particles with a transfer of particles between different momentum states. The renormalization of the mass of a fluid of interacting fermions can be calculated from first principles using many body computational techniques. For the two-dimensional homogeneous electron gas, GW calculations and quantum Monte Carlo methods have been used to calculate renormalized quasiparticle effective masses. Topic: Specific heat and compressibility. Specific heat, compressibility, spin susceptibility and other quantities show the same qualitative behavior e.g. dependence on temperature as in the Fermi gas, but the magnitude is sometimes strongly changed. Topic: Interactions. In addition to the mean field interactions, some weak interactions between quasiparticles remain, which lead to scattering of quasiparticles off each other. Therefore, quasiparticles acquire a finite lifetime. However, at low enough energies above the Fermi surface, this lifetime becomes very long, such that the product of excitation energy expressed in frequency and lifetime is much larger than one. In this sense, the quasiparticle energy is still well defined in the opposite limit. Heisenberg's uncertainty relation would prevent an accurate definition of the energy. Topic structure the structure of the bare particles as opposed to quasiparticle Green's function is similar to that in the Fermi gas where for a given momentum the Green's function in frequency space is a delta peak at the respective single particle energy the delta peak in the density of states is broadened with a width given by the quasiparticle lifetime in addition, and in contrast to the quasiparticle Green's function, its weight integral over frequency is suppressed by a quasiparticle weight factor 0 z1 display style 0. The remainder of the total weight is in a broad incoherent background corresponding to the strong effects of interactions on the fermions at short time scales. Topic: Distribution. 
the distribution of particles as opposed to quasi particles over momentum states at zero temperature still shows a discontinuous jump at the fermi surface as in the fermi gas but it does not drop from 1 to 0 the step is only of size z display style z topic Electrical resistivity In a metal the resistivity at low temperatures is dominated by electron-electron scattering in combination with umclap scattering. For a Fermi liquid, the resistivity from this mechanism varies as T 2 which is often taken as an experimental check for Fermi liquid behavior in addition to the linear temperature dependence of the specific heat, although it only arises in combination with the lattice. In certain cases, umclap scattering is not required. For example, the resistivity of compensated semimetal scales is T 2 because of mutual scattering of electron and hole. This is known as the Baber mechanism. Optical response Fermi liquid theory predicts that the scattering rate, which governs the optical response of metals, not only depends quadratically on temperature, thus causing the T 2 dependence of the DC resistance, but it also depends quadratically on frequency. This is in contrast to the Drude prediction for non-interacting metallic electrons, where the scattering rate is a constant as a function of frequency. One material in which optical Fermi liquid behavior was experimentally observed is the low temperature metallic phase of senior 2 ru 4 Topic: Instabilities. The experimental observation of exotic phases in strongly correlated systems has triggered an enormous effort from the theoretical community to try to understand their microscopic origin. One possible route to detect instabilities of a Fermi liquid is precisely the analysis done by Isaac Pomeranchuk. Due to that, the Pomeranchuk instability has been studied by several authors with different techniques in the last few years and in particular, the instability of the Fermi liquid towards the pneumatic phase was investigated for several models. Non-Fermi liquids The term non-Fermi liquid, also known as «strange metal», is used to describe a system which displays breakdown of Fermi liquid behavior. The simplest example of such a system is the system of interacting fermions in one dimension, called the Luttinger liquid. Although Luttinger liquids are physically similar to Fermi liquids, the restriction to one dimension gives rise to several qualitative differences such as the absence of a quasi-particle peak in the momentum-dependent spectral function, spin charge separation, and the presence of spin density waves. One cannot ignore the existence of interactions in one dimension and has to describe the problem with a non-Fermi theory, where lutting a liquid is one of them. At small finite spin temperatures in one dimension the ground state of the system is described by spin incoherent Luttinger liquid SIL. .Another example of such behavior is observed at quantum critical points of certain second-order phase transitions, such as heavy fermion criticality, MOT criticality and high T C Cuprate phase transitions. 
The ground state of such transitions is characterized by the presence of a sharp Fermi surface, although there may not be well-defined quasiparticles. That is, on approaching the critical point, it is observed that the quasiparticle residue Z 0 to 0 Understanding the behavior of non-Fermi liquids is an important problem in condensed matter physics. Approaches towards explaining these phenomena include the treatment of marginal Fermi liquids, attempts to understand critical points and derive scaling relations, and descriptions using emergent gauge theories with techniques of holographic gauge-gravity duality.